The era of rapid expansion for EV makers is over. The market has slowed significantly, resulting in an unprecedented price war. EV manufacturers are offering massive discounts to stay afloat, leading to substantial financial losses. Consequently, many companies are cutting expenses, with layoffs being a primary strategy. Here are six major cases of layoffs in the EV market. Six, Tesla cuts 10% of workforce. Tesla, the world's largest EV maker, is facing challenging times as EV sales decline and profits dwindle. The company has announced plans to cut 10% of its global workforce, translating to 14,000 employees. U.S. operations will see significant layoffs, 3,332 jobs in Texas, 2,688 in California, 700 in Nevada, and 285 in Buffalo. Internationally, China will experience the most significant cuts, as Tesla battles a 43% drop in sales and intense price competition from domestic EV makers. Germany will lose around 400 jobs. 5. Rivian's second round of layoffs. Rivian, once a promising EV maker, is struggling with lower than expected sales due to high interest rates and market slowdown. In February, Rivian announced it would cut 10% of its workforce from its nearly 177,000 employees. Recently, the company announced an additional 1% cut. Most of these cuts focus on staff supporting the business. Rivian has also tried cost-saving measures such as in-house part production and supplier renegotiations, but layoffs remain necessary to achieve gross margin positivity by year-end. 4. Fisker Job Cuts to Save Capital Despite launching the impressive Ocean SUV, Fisker is in financial trouble. The company's stock has been declining, and recent announcements of more layoffs have not stabilized the situation. Fisker plans significant job cuts to conserve capital. An email to employees mentioned ongoing discussions with potential buyers and investors, as well as exploring various restructuring options. The layoffs are expected within the next two months, but there's a possibility these efforts might not succeed, potentially indicating Fisker's days could be numbered. 3. GM's Lake Orion Plant Troubles General Motors GM, a legacy car maker, is facing difficulties with its EV transition. New models based on the Ultium platform are underperforming, and the successful Chevy Bolt EV and EUV models have been discontinued. GM is laying off 24% of the workforce at its Lake Orion plant, which employed 1,261 workers. The plant is being retooled for electric pickup production, and affected employees have been offered new roles at other GM facilities. The company has also postponed several major EV investments, including the Silverado EV and Sierra EV, which will now start production in late 2025. 2. Ford F-150 Lightning Production Cuts Ford's F-150 Lightning, initially well-received, has seen a drop in demand. The electric pickup is less capable than its internal combustion counterpart, leading to decreased sales and massive discounts ranging from $7,000 to $15,000 per vehicle. Ford is losing significant money with over $336,000 lost on each electric F-150 sold last year and a total EV loss exceeding $5 billion in 2023. Production at the Rouge Electric Vehicle Center in Dearborn will be cut by two-thirds, affecting 1,400 workers. Some will be transferred to the Wayne plant, while others face retirement or reassignment options. 1. NIO prepares for another round of layoffs. China's EV market, though advanced, is also experiencing slow growth and fierce competition. NIO, whose shares have dropped 90% since their peak in 2021, is struggling despite decent sales growth. The company, which already cut 10% of its workforce in November, is rumored to be planning another round of layoffs, despite official denials. CEO William Lee has indicated a desire to eliminate duplicate and inefficient roles, suggesting more cuts are likely. In conclusion, the EV market is undergoing significant changes, with major companies forced to lay off employees as they navigate a more competitive and financially challenging environment. If you enjoyed our video, make sure to subscribe to our channel for more content.